What's up everybody? Today we're going to be putting a catch can on this 2.7 liter EcoBoost. So the catch can that I have is the JLT catch can. It's about $150 off Amazon. It comes with a bracket, a mounting bracket. You got your instructions, a uh, little bonus uh, beer coaster thing, and then the actual catch can, you know, and two hoses that come already connected. So, I mean, you can tell just by looking at the parts that this is going to be a pretty easy install. There's not too much to deal with. So, let's get to it. So, according to the instructions that come with the catch can, this should work with the 5 liter Coyote, the 3.5 EcoBoost, and my engine, the 2.7 liter EcoBoost. So it's one catch can, but it should work for all applications. The installation is going to be a little bit different on your specific application. And as I mentioned today, we're doing it on my 2.7 liter EcoBoost. So most of the work is going to be done right here next to the battery. And the first thing that the instructions say to do is to remove this little clip right here for this cord that's attached to the battery tray. So just tuck that aside. After you get that clip for that cord out, the kit comes with these little J clips. That's just going to slide right on here. Okay, just like that. And then you can begin to install this. And like I said, all these pieces come with the kit. So I just did that finger tied. It still needs quite a bit of tightening. Now before I tighten this bolt the rest of the way, I'm going to go ahead and grab my drill and find a drill bit that's about the same size as this hole in the bracket. And I'm just going to put another hole through the battery tray. And that's what the instructions say to do. So after I got that drilled out, we'll go ahead and install the second J clip. So after the brackets installed, that's what it should look like. So next I'm going to go ahead and hang the catch can on this bracket. Once again, pretty easy, or it looks pretty easy. It comes with the right screws. Oh, I just dropped one. I just dropped a screw. So I dropped one screw. So I'll have to go searching on the ground for that. That's probably going to be the hardest part of this whole install. But after you get the catch can mounted up here, it's simply a matter of hooking up the hoses. So the hose with this 90 degree connection is going to mount to the head here. And then the hose with the 45 degree will mount to the intake. Alrighty, so the install is as easy as that. You just press those on, you're good to go. Now, if you're looking into a catch can, you probably already know the benefits, especially on these direct injection engines. The goal is to prevent carbon buildup on the valves. I've already done a video of me cleaning these valves. I'll put a link to that. Now, according to the instructions, there is a maintenance schedule for this. Basically, you just empty and clean the catch can every 15,000 miles. For me, what I'll probably do is just do it every time I change the oil, which is going to be a shorter interval than the 15,000 miles. But, you know, doing a shorter interval shouldn't hurt anything. And in reality, you should be able to, you know, check that catch can at any time that you want. One last thing I wanted to mention is I was tempted to just buy a cheap catch can off Amazon and build my own kit but after installing this i think it's really the way to go it may cost a little bit more but it's going to be so easy to install that it's just going to save you a lot of time and hassle of trying to build your own hopefully this video was helpful click my logo to subscribe to my channel for more videos and as always thanks for watching and yes i did find the other screw